What China knew in the opening weeks of the COVID-19 pandemic, but did COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The two illnesses are caused by different viruses. In the past 12 months, our world has been turned upside down. Early in 2020, we had a great road trip down into the deep south of the United States with friends stopping at some really great geocaches. We had great plans for geo trips for the rest of the year. We were planning trips to Washington, D.C., New York, West Virginia, California, Ohio, and of course Seattle and Abbotsford for the Geo Woodstock. But then the border closed. So that left us stranded in Ontario. But then we remembered a commercial from the 1980s. So that was it. Ontario was now ours to discover. So, despite the pandemic, we did manage to get out and do some geocaching. After all, that's our exercise. We did make sure that we distance ourselves from people. We took precautions when necessary and also wore a mask when it was required. Travel was still allowed in the province through the summer and fall. So we took advantage of that. But we were missing one thing. We wanted to continue on our Earth Cache Fizzy. Our what? Our Earth Cache Fizzy. So everyone is aware of the different grids that you can complete. You know, the Fizzy Grid, the Jasmer, your Calendar Grid, and the Place Date Grid. We have all those filled, so we were working on others. And the one that intrigued us the most was completing a Fizzy Grid completely made up of just Earth Caches. Now, in order to complete that, we wanted to go to California uh, flying into San Francisco and working our way to Reno where we could complete the entire grid within a week's vacation there. But with the border closed, that was not possible. So we looked towards Canada. Where could we go to complete this? We couldn't complete it, but we could take a big, big chunk out of it if we were able to go to Quebec. So into Quebec we made it, and we were able to add five of our target Earth caches to the trip. We were able to log a 1.5 on an island in the St. Lawrence, a 4 1.5 on the Quebec Bridge, a 7 location 5 2.5, an 11 location 54 and a 4 location 53 on the south shore of the St. Lawrence. Ticking off five more squares, we now only have five squares left to fill our 81 square Earth Cache Fizzy. If you'd like to check your Fizzy status for other types of geocaches, go to Project GC to your profile stats. Scroll down until you get to the Fizzy Grid. The grid starts out with showing all types of finds, but you can change that to 
a traditional fizzy, multis, mystery, letterbox, where I go, and earth cash fizzies. And if you're curious, you can even check for a virtual fizzy. So there you go, friends. There's all kinds of fizzy fun that you can figure out for yourself. We've almost got that fizzy done for earth caches, and there's two caches left in Canada, one on the west coast, one on the east. But in order for us to fill the grid entirely, we're going to have to travel outside of Canada. And this pandemic won't last forever. So, mask up and get out there and geocache. Stay safe, everyone. Where will geocaching take you?